for this, right, we're always going off 100 meters unless you hit something problematic. The classic problematic was this trail, we hit the canal. You do not survey into the canal, right? <laughs> you go without saying, but just still. Um, every once in a while, there might be something else. There might be a massive fallen tree that you just can't get around. I don't think so, but yes, yeah, it's something else. Uh, that's what chance. That's where you call me. Hey, I got a thing. Should I keep going? Hey, there's a big giant snake staring at me at this branch. Should I keep surveying here? Answer probably no. And so, uh, so in those cases, we do not go the full length and we just stop and we do whatever the last length is. But that gets me to talking about the very first thing. So the first thing is uh, watch out for the canal. So nobody needs to be going in the water. Nobody needs to be on the water's edge. Um, now these are these are features that we don't typically. They're like a creek, right? Like a creek for us, we would call it a creek. Um, realize that there can be bank undercutting, and so you might think, oh, "I'm going to walk down here and see what's there," and then and then you know, put your weight on something and it might crumble in. So there's there's that kind of thing. Uh, is it the end of the world if you get wet? No, but you know we'd rather you guys not get wet. But the bigger issue is, you know, there are alligators around here. You're not going to get by an alligator, right? Uh, you're going to see an alligator and be stoked. But still, you don't want to. You don't want to poke anybody, right? We don't want to actively antagonize anyone, so that's why we're not going in the water. One. Two, uh, the other uh, thing we need to talk about are hazardous critters. So, almost all the critters here are totally chill and totally mellow, right? Um, we do have wild boar out here. You're not going to see any wild boar, but theoretically, if you saw one, you want to go away from it. You don't want to. You don't want to go. Oh, look at that little piggy thing, right? <laughs> so, uh, so, so these these boar are these are fer also called feral pigs, right? So these are domestic pigs that have gotten out and essentially reverted to Conan the Barbarian. Um, they can be very aggressive. We we have problems with them in Santa Rosa historically as well, and in Santa Cruz before we really started eradicating them. And they can be they can, you know, a lot of critters are like, oh, you're they're more scared of you than, you know. They're more scared of you than you are of them. Not boar. Boar like, oh, you're here, and they will actually charge you and do stuff. And the males in particular can have big tusks and stuff. So, so it's not the end of the world. You're not going to see any. But just, just you know, if you were to randomly see one, that's the thing you want to call me and say, hey, what should I do? Um, much more commonly will be snakes. We from California, we don't have any poisonous snakes except for rattlesnakes. Western diamondbacks is basically it, and they're. You know, really not a problem at all. I always worry about them, but they're really not much of a problem. Um, here, we have dozens of poisonous snakes. So, we also have many, many more dozens that aren't poisonous. But given that you guys don't know your snakes, any snake we're just going to assume is poisonous. So, we're just going to give them these little, like, cool green boas and stuff. Just, you know, you can take a picture, but, but don't pick them up. Right? Um, the most Commonly problematic snake that we encounter here are these um, cottonmouth. So basically, a big rattlesnake, essentially. It looks like a rattlesnake, but they can just be a lot bigger. Um, and and they, again, they're going to want to go away from you. But theoretically, the, you might encounter some snakes. The way you guys are going to go, you're going to be talking about. Rah, 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 blah, 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 blah. They're going to hear you coming. And they're going to be like, what the hell is that? And they're going to slither away. You might occasionally bump into one. If, if you do, all good. You have your machete. You have your, your um, uh, PVC pole. That's not to attack the snake, but that's just to, you know, if that happens, I would, I would, I would start to back away, keeping the snake in front of me, and just sort of with my, I have my PVC pole in front of me. It's fine. It's fine. You're not going to get hit. Um, Lots of other cool critters out here. Don't worry about them. They're cool. The, the one that I think causes the most concern, because we've never seen them, armadillos. They look kind of alien-y. They look kind of alligator-y, depending on how you see one. But they're insectivores. So their snout is down, this is how they typically roll, snout down in the leaf, leaf litter. And they're, and they're like, and it's leafy. So they're like, they're looking for grubs and stuff. And that, that crunching of the leaf makes them not really hear a whole lot going around them. So they're a classic one where you'll be doing something. You hear something? I don't hear anything. 
like, it's coming towards us. Like, oh, what is it, a snake? I'm like, I don't know. Do you see it? And you can't see it because they're down, and you're like, what is it? And then, and then there's something like the leaves are moving. You're like, oh, oh my god! And it's almost always an arm, a, a, a seven band or nine band, whatever it is, uh, armadillo. Um, so, uh, not harmful at all. Uh, uh, the risk management people freak out when we talk about this because they can carry leprosy. And so they're like, oh my god, don't ever go near an armadillo. That's totally stupid. They're all throughout the South. The South is not lousy with leprosy or anything like that, but you know, theoretically. Okay, uh, so uh, that said, the biggest biological hazard to you, there's two lar large potential biological hazards to you. One is probably not too large now, given how things are leaped out. But one would be poison ivy, right? The same thing, kind of idea that we call poison oak, this sort of leafy plant that has these oils that cause our skin to be irritated. So theoretically, you could get some some of this uh, contact dermatitis. This stuff is so barely leafed out. I, I would be shocked if we could even easily identify it right now. But but theoretically, that's a thing. Um, uh, but then the most, the, by far, the most biological problems we have in terms of safety with anything is blackberry. Blackberry, and so that's mostly scratched up. Underneath your fingernail, or something, or something like that. So that's why we have our gloves. That's why we have our car hearts, our thick pants, long sleeve shirts. Even if it was a hot, hot day today, so that's why I still tell you guys wear long sleeve shirts and stuff. Uh, uh, eyewear, right? Sunglasses or some kind of eyewear. You know, like right here, you're like, that doesn't look bad. Um, and if it's really, truly been this cold for a long time, maybe we'll, uh, again, we haven't walked around the trails yet. Maybe we don't have much. Absolutely, will be blackberry. It's just a matter of if it's a lot or a little bit. Um, and so, so that's biologically speaking, that's the that's the most common hazard you're going to encounter. Uh, if you get some things on, you're going to swear and go, arr, arr, and it's not a big deal. If you were to fall into a massive patch and get totally torn up, you probably want to, you know, fairly soon get you washed up with some soap. Get a little of something in your in your skin or whatever, but that that's literally the extent of the hazard. It's not problematic, right? It's not. We're not going to be attacked by a wild boar. You're not going to be attacked by snakes. You're not going to get eaten by an alligator. Um, although the risk management people all think, oh my god, you know, field science. Uh, this one student from anthropology was doing a survey, capstone survey that I just answered a little bit ago about a field work, and and in the statement she said, you know, you know. Do we need medical personnel with us out on field stations? Because you know it's really dangerous going out and, and doing you know, field work. And to me, this is a million times. This is safe. This is totally safe. I would not have you guys come out if this wasn't safe. Um, this is chill. We drove from the hotel to here. It's chill. That was dangerous. <laughs> that was super dangerous, right? I mean, we talk about how many people die on roads and car accidents. People sometimes even run red lights. I've heard. <laughs> uh, 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 he does. Uh, you know, like that is dangerous. That truly is dangerous, right? This stuff you're doing is not dangerous, right? We're going to figure some stuff out. I might get a cut or two here or there. But this is super fun, right? This is where we've evolved. This is where our species came from. We did not come from concrete, weird caves up 12 stories off the ground, right? That's a weird thing evolutionarily. This is where we belong. So you guys are home. This is, this is a, a fun place. It might be challenging, it might be hard, it might be cold, but it is not, uh, it's, it's not a hazard um, as, as some people who don't do field work in some kinds of things. Cool. Safety questions. I guess a general question about stuff you're wondering about for nerves or, or anything like that. Oh, one other thing we sometimes have, we're not gonna have it this year, we sometimes have uh, uh, banana spiders, we sometimes have these large spiders. Um, again, I don't think we'll see any today, one because of the time of year, but also because of the wind. But they, they do like to capture big insects, moths and things. Sometimes even get birds, the bigger ones. Um, and, and they will make uh, we, uh, uh, webbing across the trail. You might bump your face into something. But that's, they're not, they're not, they're not dangerous. They're not, they're not gonna kill you or anything like that. Um, so uh, that would be another hazard. But any other questions? Any other biological hazard worry question stuff? You see a snake. 
use the use the thing. Take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> and try to take a picture. <laughs> take a photo. Take yeah. a photo. Yeah. Take a photo. So cool. Uh, other things before I before I turn loose to Tom. Other like non biological hazards. So just as a reminder, um, we have water right here. This water is all pot potable. This is drinkable, right? So if you guys are running out of water, go fill it up. Um, we need to you know get the. The water jug's going, but at the rate we're going today, I don't know if we'll get it ready for today, but, but you guys you guys have access to that water. Obviously, the bathrooms are over there. Um, uh, we will always, so, uh, yeah, you don't record this one. All right. <laughs>